As many months as June of 2010, we've been working on this particular moment, and of course for the thrilling, exciting experience that we'll have at Stadium of Fire on July the 2nd. We have something new for the Stadium of Fire this year, and that's Stadium of Fire Talent Search. And what will happen is, up until uh, March 15th, you can submit videos online at freedomfestival.org of your talent. It doesn't matter if it's a musical talent or maybe you have a, a novelty act or maybe you are a, a juggler or a dancer. Um, a singer, band, musicians, anybody is welcome to enter. And we will select from there the top videos to post online. The public will be allowed to vote for their favorites and we will have two live auditions. And at the end of the two live auditions, the top three acts will go on to perform at the Stadium of Fire, and the winner of the talent search will be chosen during the live show on July 2nd by all of the people sitting in the stadium watching the show voting for their favorite. And there is a prize. Can I? Yes. The first prize for the winner of the talent search competition is $10,000. So we hope we get a lot of inquiries, submissions, videos, so we can go from there and make this something that happens year after year. I'm excited about Brad coming, but I'm also excited about David Archuleta coming. I thought it would be great for him to be able to show you today how kind he is. We would love to have David Archuleta come up and say a few words. It's a, uh, we're just happy to be here. I'm just so happy to get a chance to to perform again at the, at the Stadium of Fire Freedom Festival. Um, my first time getting to sing, I got to sing the National Anthem when I was 12 years old. And it was a pretty mind-blowing experience. And it was just kind of like, oh, a lot of people. But uh, no, it's great getting to come back and really get to uh, just come back as a, a, a guest once again and get to do a uh, just celebrate in a way that has always been very special. Some of the things I remember most when I was able to go previous, uh, was able to perform previous times was just seeing the the troops and their reactions to, to watching and uh, and uh, it was just, it was just cool. So I think Brad Paisa is just one of the you know he's one of those just real people out there in the music uh, industry and he's just. A, you know, just one of those genuine people, and so it's it'll be really great getting to share the uh, share the stage with him that that night. So uh, it'll be a really fun time. I'm glad to get to let people know, and I'm just excited to let um, just you know the, 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 the home folks here in Utah know, and also the fans, because it is kind of a thing that is since it's broadcasted also other troops around the world too. I think that's really really cool too.